Hello YouTube, modeling community. Uh, this is Rusty Rotor with an update on Jay at Jay's Main Scale Garage uh, commission build update. Uh, it's been a while. And I've got quite a bit of things done, and we're gonna go over them real quick. Uh, first, uh, I told you we had an issue back here. We did take care of that. Uh, we wet sanded everything down again. We've got this thing pretty smooth. I mean, very smooth all, all the way across the board. Uh, and you guys can see the shine. Uh, it still needs to be waxed, but you know, that's, that'll be the final thing. Uh, we've got it underneath our hood done, got our decals in place and added a couple extras just for goodies. We got our bare metal foil done in the front. The rear along the rear deck uh, across the front of the hood where it needs to be we did have an accident today and I don't really know how to fix that uh, because they didn't give me any more and that was in making the little plate for the uh, you can see where it's blackened in there on the back of the grill uh, for the 442 emblem uh, I had it on there, and then as soon as I put it on there, the decal, it, I don't know if it was the, from the glue gassing out caused it. Very well could have been. Uh, but now we don't have a 442 emblem for the uh, grill. So, I don't know what to do. Uh, I've got another cutlass up there. I think I'm going to look in there and see. If it's got the decal, I'll, I'll rob it from that because that's not so big of a deal. I can always get some made down the road. Uh, I just don't want to wait, so I'll probably rob it, and then we'll get that put in there. But uh, we got our parking lights. I think these are like turn signals in the front. Uh, we got those ambered. Uh, they are probably probably were clear, but we like the amber look better. So we got those ambered in. They're curing now. Uh, we got our spark plug boots on the wire, so we'll be getting those in place getting our other throttle linkage on and the connecting rod between them and then our throttle cable. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, we got our oil filter on and decal on that. It's a crappy Fram. I always use Frams throughout my whole life. I know there's better, but uh, just a fan of that. I like that orange oil filter. just breaks up the monotony. Uh, and our carburetors are detailed very well. Like I said, we just got to cut off this piece here. We still got to put our ones into the heads for the alternator and power steering. No big deal. Uh, once I start that engine up, all that wire and detail that goes on that, that'll, that'll all come real quick. Uh, roll cage. We got that in. Uh, we've got our hole drilled for our wires coming down off this. We've not glued it in yet. But we do have one of our seat belts attached. The one closest to the door panel still needs to be attached on this side. And I still got to make the two back for this one here. Uh, we will scratch make seat belts for the rear seats. Not that they would get used. Uh, but we'll put those in there anyways. Uh, the interior is all detail painted. We added switches down on the console. Uh, that has the go-go uh, button on it. And to turn the nitrous on. Uh, we got switches on the dash. If you can see those. In there, there you go. I got the little lift thing up and the toggle switch underneath. Uh, we got some on the bottom of the roll cage. Uh, those are all switches and things to turn on the, the battery. It turns on the lights, electric fans, you know, the whole nine yards. That's what all those switches are for. So we got floor mats in here. Let me get the roll cage out of it. And you can see the seatbelt just dangles. It's... It's one of those photo etched seatbelt kits, and they work fabulous. Uh, we did get our floor mats in. They're Oldsmobile floor mats. So we added that little bit of detail. Uh, my infamous engine plate that we're going to use is not going to work no matter what I do. It keeps the engine too high. Uh, now, I could come through here and angle off, and I might do that and see how that sits in there because I was wanting that detail in there but it's not a big deal if we don't it's just I was 
hoping really I put a lot of work in this little piece cleaning it up making it big enough uh, show you how it goes it's supposed to go on there like that in the front uh, so we could you know just take that angle out of it and it might work then so I'm still up to try that uh, what else oh we got underneath the hood done so I wouldn't forget about it we do need to get our hood pins on next and get our things set for that we've got the uh, front suspension done we've got the tires in we do have a little wonky frame now I'm gonna to have to heat this up and tweak it down just a little bit so we don't have the three wheel motion uh, but that would be easy to do uh, we did have to adjust our motor mounts a little bit to give clearance for the engine to sit in there properly so that's been done we just got to touch that up uh, we got to put our tail lights in the rear bumper uh, again we got the, all the glass in the headliner is painted you know all that all that business is done the uh, her spoiler is on now permanently uh, it can be removed but it's it's real friction fit it's not going anywhere uh, the mirrors I've tried again they do fit uh, that'll be one of the last things I put on uh, and the only detail we got left is the seat belts harnesses inside uh, and then all the wire detail to the engine and engine compartment and we still got to get our brake lines in to the front uh, this will probably be the end of the week's project getting those in because that's kind of where I'm at now I want to get those tires on get this little bit of warpage straightened out so it sits on all fours and then it's really kind of come time to add our last little bit of detail uh, we got to run our fuel lines we've got our scratch made uh, plate for the bottom of the gas tank uh, it's a single single line coming out of here for fuel it'll come up and come to the fuel filter out of the fuel filter and then down up to the car or to the fuel pump from the fuel pump down and up to the front of the car and that'll come up to the engine of course so we got all the braided lines and fittings we got to put in here get that all painted we got to get this painted those are the mg not mgsf bolts but those little little bolt detail they work really slick guys uh i didn't use no specific pattern i just glued them in there now i'll come back and i'll get this painted i'll mask off around it and then i'll i'll uh chrome that up or aluminum it and then chrome the bolts one or two uh our coils coil overs are in there you know we've got our brake line it's uh here i gotta get it attached to the bracket the bracket is in uh it's right here where my finger is if you guys can see it or not the glare in here is crazy there we go it's right there so that black the rubber line will end there and then from there it'll be steel braided up to the uh, master cylinder which we have done uh get our little crazy parts out here and show you we gotta wire our fan up still uh don't know i think we can use the shroud uh, I'm going to mock that back up and see if so. We'll look at the shroud on it. Uh, we did make a uh, air cleaner Jay can use if he wants to. When it's off, it goes sideways across the carburetors. Uh, our sun visors, we got to put in. I don't. I got to check and see, make sure it doesn't interfere with the roll cage. If it does, we'll just leave it out, give them back to him. Uh, we got to touch up our headers. There's our master cylinder. You can see it's all painted detailed this is a 3d printed one by me got our little pigtails on it. these will go down to a por proportioning valve and then from there to the front brakes to the rear brakes so that way all the brakes are completely plumbed same way with the fuel lines will all be completely plumbed this will be fully wired and plumbed fully detailed uh, and would i take this to a model show yes i would here's our mds box gotta get it painted red uh, get our holes drilled in it so on and so forth we still got to get our fittings painted and then clear blued and red we do have one of our brake valves for the front done uh, we have our super coil ready to go and we got our alternator painted some other various accessories in here painted ready to go so uh, next is 
our major catch can we've got it painted detailed our decals on it there's three different decals on this catch can just racing logos and stuff like that on there and then we've got a K&N catch can for the radiator Again, I'm sorry for the not wanting to focus that goes on there uh, and then I've got a couple of little components I want to kind of put up in the engine compartment uh, and yeah that's gonna wrap it up and we'll be done here with Jay's so we will probably have one more update on this, uh, probably a little bit before I get ready to marry it together. Uh, and that's going to probably be right when I'm ready to put the roll cage in it permanently, the dashboard permanently, uh, get the interior married to the body permanently, and then uh, install the chassis. Then we got, we'll got we have to make all of our connections, and then we'll come back and do a final. So uh, that should pretty much take us to the first of the year, if not before hopefully before uh and then we're going to be we'll be getting into our truck builds all the builds of next year so i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think about it uh again remember guys we wanted to work with the kit not add it was easy to add aftermarket stuff but i wanted to try something new and it, this was for jay so we scale narrowed the rear frame rails by four inches so we cut them out removed all the material moved them in put them back and then we fit everything in sanded smooth filled it in sanded it uh to give that oem look uh, we modified the four link that's factory to give it more of a little aftermarket uh, we do have nuts and bolt detail on everything here it's all got to get painted still it's hard to see but you can see there, the little white speck there on the end of everything uh, on each link bar, there's a, a bolt head on both sides, front and back. Uh, you know, there you go. You can see that fuel pump detail. And that's from offthesprue.com. You guys go check him out. He's got a lot of neat little stuff that just adds little pieces of detail. You know, I scratch built this, but this is from off the sprue. And there is a little thing in the center here. It's hard to see. Uh, we used a piece of clear styrene tube to replicate the whatever that is on the fuel cell uh so we got a little touch-up painting to do there uh get our steel braided lines in and our fittings and then get them ran up to the front do a little touch-up painting up here heat this up tweak it a little bit uh get our brake lines ran and then we're ready to set our engine in there by then we should have everything wired and detailed ready to go and then we can get this thing married together and we'll we'll be back on the final we'll show you uh after the next update so one more update and then the final is how we'll kind of call it jay bought this bought this kit uh he bought a lot of the uh fittings uh the and fittings and the uh other fittings uh and the seat belts or the harnesses you know he's put a lot of his stuff into it as well i've put a lot of extra stuff into it uh, it's just hard for me not to do it, but, uh, you know, he's seen everything along the way. He's, he's really thrilled. He can't wait for it to be done and we're almost there. So you guys, uh, definitely leave it down in the comments, what you think. Oh, you know what? We forgot. We also got a radiator decal on there. It does have a CN, what is that? CNR, CNR racing radiator in it. That's what we're saying. So that's in there. And yeah, it's, uh, definitely come along. It's been fun. It's been super challenging. Uh, it's been aggravating. I've had to put it away several times uh, because, you know, you have this thought and then it doesn't go that way and you got to regroup, figure something new out, a lot of trial and error. And so I've learned a lot of stuff along the way on this one uh, that hopefully I can apply to another build down the road. And that's what it's all about, guys. Having fun, learning something, and, and being able to apply what you learn to your, your next build. So eventually you get better and better and better as you go. Any questions, guys? Leave them down. I'll ask, answer them however I can. Any questions about anything I've used on this build? Uh, what I've done to it to modify it to, you know, get it all to fit. Uh, again, I can show you real quick without the interior being in it uh, how this all fits together. And you can see that's how low those tires are in there. It does sit fairly low, but not low enough where it drags anything. Uh, the front tires are up in there pretty good. 
We're running 24s in the back, I believe these are. 24 by, if I'm not mistaken, 14. And the fronts are 22 by uh, probably 9, I would say. And, you know, without that front being down all the way like it's supposed to, it's going to be hard to show you. You kind of get a rough idea right there. Uh, you know, they're up in there pretty good. It, it goes up in there here more than what it's looking like right now, but it doesn't sit like this. It gives you the appearance of it sitting like this, but it's not. It sits nice and level. There's a little rake to it, uh, and that's what we were wanting. Uh, didn't want to slam it all the way to the ground, uh, even though, you know, a real pro touring car would be bagged. In the air ride suspension, it would sit slammed and then it would raise up to start driving it. We opted out. We went with a four link, a uh, coil over adjustable pro touring front suspension uh, that is adjustable. Uh, so we can adjust the ride height as we want it or need it. We've got it set where it's just, you know, kind of like the rake of my fingers. Just, just enough that we can angle and go over curbs, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, uh, MCW paint on this one, guys. This is Poppy Red. Uh, you've heard me mention it before. This was pre-mixed over a year ago when I did the Budweiser truck. Well, at the beginning of this year. So it's been almost a year now. Uh, I had paint left over from that. Uh, I mixed it with hardener already. I added more thinner to it to thin that down so that hardener didn't harden. And that paint's lasted. Well, here it is. You guys can still hear it. It's... This, this will go to Jay for any touch-ups down the road. I do have a couple little tiny touch-ups to do on it before I give it to him. So I'll use that and then give, you know, I'll gift that to him. So he has it. I won't need any more. I got a brand new jar sitting back there. Uh, MCW paint, it, it's great paint. Uh, just keep in mind, it is in enamel, you know, and pay attention. Go watch Matthew's videos on how he mixes his enamels from MCW uh, using the Mr. Color 400 leveling thinner. Uh, the hardener from MCW, you can get a gloss finish with that stuff and not have to use a clear coat. And you can get that paint to level out glass smooth where there's no wet sanding involved at the end. All you got to really do is come back and maybe do a, a good waxing. Uh, if you're anal like me, you're, you'll come back and wet sand it and then polish it back out anyways. But you don't, there's ways to avoid all that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a... Trust me, guys, if this was mine and I was keeping it, this is show quality. Uh, it's not that it would win shows, but I would take it to a show. Uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's Jay's. Uh, he's a great, if he takes it to a show, I get to build credit for it. I don't care if he shows it, it's his. Uh, you know, I'm the one that built it. And as long as he lets people know I'm the one that built it for him, uh, you know, only due to medical reasons is the only reason he didn't build it. It's not that he can't build it. He just couldn't at the time. Uh, and here, I'll turn this around real quick. You guys can kind of see it because it's sitting on the desk. You can see how low this car sits. Now, mind you, that front does come back up a hair. About right there. With that front tire on. Which is perfect. It looks really good. Murdered out wheels. Uh, we got the white interior with highlights of black throughout. Little, little shots of red here and there just to carry it out. Remember those four to five colors, guys. Uh, it can be variant shades of that color, and it still helps. It's It doesn't overpower. It's not washed out, which is being white or all black. Uh, remember on the Chevelle, we did four different shades of black. Flat, uh, matte, uh, which is kind of like an eggshell, satin, uh, semi-gloss and gloss. I think it's five, four or five shades of black in that car, which breaks up the monotony of all black interior. And we added little hints of other colors in there. It has the wood grain, it has, you know, chrome, it has all kinds of things. So, but we carry the colors throughout our build. It's, it's the Don Yost method. Don't crucify me. The man was somewhat of a genius. Uh, he tried and true methods of, throughout his life. 
that he used and he learned from and what worked, what didn't work. And he passed that knowledge on for you to use or not to use. Uh, I chose to use it because, believe it or not, gone to shows. I've taken first first place, second place, third place. Uh, I've taken second place on a model that I didn't even think would get third. Uh, so, you know, using the methods, it's people, that's what they look for. They don't want to look inside and see an old black interior and it's all washed out and there's no other detail you can see. They want to be able to see some details. So you got to you got to break it up a little bit. And the way you do that is like this. I carried a little red throughout. There's a little red on the switch. There's chrome. There's the wood grain. Then we got black and white. Uh, we're not going outside of our color realms of the metal shades. Red, black, red, black, white, and metals. It's four colors. Then we added a splash of yellow. How do we do that? That's the, the coil pack. And the lettering on the, the harnesses. We had a little yellow in there. On the engine compartment, we got we got splashes of different colors, blues, oranges. Uh, you know, we got orange on the filter. We got an orange decal up on the cow there, letting you know it's hot. Uh, the various badges that are underneath the hood. Uh, these various badges would have gone on the uh, heater box, but since we opted that out to keep a smooth firewall. I just brought them up here to the top of the cow, and you know they're still there. One's an Oldsmobile sticker, and the other ones I don't, I can't read it. It's that small, but it was nice to be able to put them back up underneath the hood and have a place to do that, uh, since we deleted some stuff. But at the end of the day, guys, it's gonna be a badass hot rod, uh, and I know Jay's happy with it, which tells me I did a good job. Uh, I'm happy with it. If it was mine, I'd be tickled pink. Uh, I've gone further on his than I have of any of mine. The only ones come close to this one is my Pro Touring GTX, uh, which I cheat. I didn't cheat, but I cut corners and I used a tubbed out because it was a Pro Street kit, so I didn't have to worry about tubbing or narrowing the rear end. It made it easier, uh, and then I made it harder by using the uh, photo etch four link setup. 30 something plus pieces individual that I had to put in there. That was a pain in the butt. But with Jay's, I said, okay, we're not going to do that. We want to use what the kit has. Something a guy would do in his backyard. Okay, I want to modify this. If I do this, sand it down, grind it down, cut it, refab it, and I can make this work. And, and that's what this is. And still get the same appearance, same look, uh, stance, right height, all that out of it without cutting corners we did it the hard way and it really paid off so let me know what you guys think uh we've gone on about this enough uh like i said there'll be one more update video on this and then the final uh so the only way you guys know about that is hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification you'll know when these videos come out uh again let me know what you think my niece is doing uh show riley some love down below in the comments uh she, you know she's She's been through it trying to edit these videos, so uh, I, I, I definitely appreciate her. You guys let me know what you think about it, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Uh, my grandson's being born this week, so it's going to be a short week for me, and i got some yard work to do, all the great leaves. Uh, so I'll try to get, we got some videos, this video I'll post up probably towards the end of the week, uh, along with the other one that's coming out, well, I got three coming out this week, but they're all going to come up towards the end of the week. So bear with us while we get them, get synced to where I can start releasing them on the days I normally did right now. They're all going to come out, come out boom, boom, boom. Uh, she has a work schedule, I, you know, so I'm not rushing her. I'm not pushing her. I want her to take her time and do her best. So, yeah, uh, we'll see you. See you on the next one. And not in the funny papers. Till then, guys, thank you again to all my past, present, and future subs. Uh, show all the sponsors down below some love. Uh, check out their products, uh, their websites. Remember, if you guys build something with Ryan Jones's wheels on it when you're done, just contact him via Facebook, Instagram. Uh, let him know that you built them. Send him some pictures. Uh, and he'll get those pictures up on his website. You know, that's great, guys. Everybody gets to see your build up there with the, his tires and wheels. He loves that kind of stuff. It 
It really reaffirms him on what he does, and he does a fantastic job. Uh, same way as MGSF. MGSF has a couple products coming out, probably around the first of the year, that are going to be epic. Uh, he shared them with me, took some of my input, uh, and uh, hopefully he smashes it together. It's going to be a killer product. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, as always, Ryan Jones, uh, you want to stay up to date on him, follow him on Instagram. He always posts when he comes out with something new uh, and pretty much tells you then, too, who they're going to. But when they come to me, I let you know the sizes, who they're going to. And if you go to his website, you can see via who prints his products uh, on a regular basis. So you'll know who you can go to to get his product if it's not something he does himself or puts the file up on cults. Uh, there's so many different ways to achieve, you know, Ryan Jones's product other than seeing me. Uh, but this gives you a good look into the product, uh, where to go to get it, and sometimes the price of it, if it's his. Uh, everybody's a little different, and, uh, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'll let you know all that stuff. Uh, till then, guys, this is Rusty Rotor. I'm out.